So once you've installed Lake Controller, the icon will appear on your desktop. Double click on it. It's going to ask you to select the network adapter. So whichever adapter you've used to connect to the amplifier, um, either it be wireless or network cable, so LAN cable. Uh, for this, I'm just going to use the offline version. Um, select the adapter and then it opens up the software. On opening the software, it's going to ask you, do you want to recall the last system? Um, for this, we're not going to. We're going to start with a blank configuration. The connected amplifier will appear under the modules tab at the bottom here. Just click on it. Uh, in the blank space, this is where the online amplifier will appear. Uh, for this, I'm just going to use a virtual offline amplifier. Double click on it, drag to the right until you find the selected amplifier. Um, for this, I'm just going to use the PLM14000. When you select it, two gray dots appear and click on the blank screen. So now the um, two modules of this amplifier is loaded on the screen. Now to load an EAW gray box, you need to have EAW pilot installed and all the gray box files installed on the computer because we will be pulling those gray boxes into Lake software. Uh, select one of, one of the two modules, um, go to module store recall at the bottom. Now this is where we're going to have to go into the computer um, hard drive to go look for the modules. This is normally where the lake load library is also accessible for all the different brands, but we want to go into my computer, into the C drive, click and drag to program files uh, x86 um, then click and drag until we get to the EAW folder in the EAW folder double click on the data folder and um, select the UX8800 so double click on that so here's all the EAW pilot gray box files um, we can now just click and drag until we get to the SB um, then click and drag until you can find the SB that we need. In this case, it will be the SB1001. Um, I've got revision A, revision B, and revision C. Um, I'm going to load revision C at the bottom here. Double, double click on it. It's going to ask you, are you sure you want to recall? We go yes and it automatically opens up the output configuration window so this is the gray box and these are the two outputs of the amplifier if this was a four channel amplifier there would be four outputs uh, for this we just need to make sure that both outputs are yellow which then means that both outputs are sending the gray box file out we can go out of this and we can also go out of store recall. You'll notice that the two modules have been merged into one module. Um, this is because the EAW gray box takes up more processing power and it requires both modules for processing. In this menu to now do the IO configuration uh, for input, we can go over there. Uh, if, we want Dante, if we want to use Dante input, uh, we can go to Dante configuration and automatically it has Dante disabled. We can just enable Dante so that it turns yellow. We can adjust the um, sample ratio 48 or 96. We can choose what will be the preferred clock master. So if this is selected, then the lab gripping is the clock master. If you have uh, a console or something that you rather want, then have this unticked. You can go out of here. Um, if we want to use AES, um, there's some AES options here for AES termination. Um, so terminated, not terminated. To configure the inputs, uh, we can click on the hourglass, uh, hourglass here at input configuration. So it will automatically has auto select priority 
on both inputs. So this will mean if Dante doesn't have any audio on it, it's gonna to go to the second priority. If that doesn't have anything configured, it's gonna to go to the third priority and to the fourth priority. So if you want to have Dante as first and analog as second, we first need to clear the, the AES and the other analog that's configured. To do this, just click on the XLR icon, drag it to the black open space and click again, then that uh, priority is emptied out. Same with analog and click. Now to make my second priority analog, I can go to the bottom here and just select the analog inputs that are available, select channel one, take it over there and click. Now my second priority is analog. Do the same with input two, empty that third and the fourth priority and uh, analog two to the second priority. If, um, so that's the input configuration done. If we want to get into uh, output, gain, delay and mute, we can go exit IO config, go into EQs and levels. Uh, so here's a um, EQ window for this module. Here's a parametric uh, EQ window. If we want to do any EQs here, we can just click and drag on the filters and they will be dropped into this um, window over here and the boxes at the top select the different parameters and we can click and drag to manipulate these filters. Um, we can delete this filter also delete this filter and delete this filter to adjust levels go to the levels tab uh, when loading a ew gray box it automatically mutes the output so you have to go into this window and unmute this output uh, for you to get any signal here we can adjust the gain by grabbing the slider or clicking the blue box and selecting which gain we want. Um, we can also adjust the delay on this output or on this module by selecting delay and then the same can grab the fader or just type in the delay that you want. And that's about it.